post stop victory. The three drivers, four drivers behind that have well, visited victory lane many times over the past seasons. But right now, Mike Castle and Danny Gamache will bring them down off of turn number four. Will the sun shine on Bellville tonight? We'll find out as the green flag is high in the air and the back of the way. We've got several cars involved. The number two of Tom Scully, the 31 of Goodrow, the Bobby Tripp in the 81, the zero of Alexander. And a hard hit by Matt Dewey to the outside, retaining wall, taking hits in both the front and the rear of the, the Derecho Landscaping, McLaughlin Automotive Stores, Derecho Landscaping, and the construction number zero two. has the opportunity to show the support of your favorite driver, whether it be Matt Dewey in the O2, and he would love to have you show your support for him, or maybe Radical Rick Martin, Chad Chase, the 99 of Wayne Dion, get some neon colors out here for... Well, it looks like they're going to have to cradle Matt Dewey's car into the... seeing with Matt Dewey's car, the reason it's leaning to the left side more than the right is because they have an offset weight rule. On the sophomore and the three-time pro stock champion on road number one, Manchester's been stout, he's been strong, has yet to climb to the top of the mountain. Radical Rick Martin, he's been there several times, looking to get there one more time. He's right, he's
third. Down around here to tie Dwayne Day out of the point standings coming into tonight's racing action. Looks like he's going to put a little distance between he and Wayne and try to catch a points leader. And he's going to race leader, Radical Rick Martin. Oh, they've doubled their points again. Ed Warren, Chief Stratter, is pointing to the line. Green flag is in the air.